Hello everybody, welcome back to Patfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are in a game called Lusitania, which is done by Interactive Gaming Studios. Once again, the same people who made the Britannic game, and we are going to be aboard the Lusitania this time. I am very, very excited about this. I love these little games, I think they're a lot of fun, and I'm excited to share that with you. But no more jibber-jabber, let's jump in. The simulation features real-time syncing. This is in 18 minutes. It takes a few minutes before the torpedo hits, which is perfectly fine. Except we're not supposed to know that the torpedo hits. May 7th, 1915. The Lusitania in the Celtic Sea. Oh, this is pretty already. So we don't want to jump into the water. Well, welcome aboard Lusitania, everybody. Give you some information and facts here once I get up into a good viewing position. Oh, I've never even looked at the bridge here. This place looks feels so small. Well, once we explode, we will take a look around. Just like the sinking of the Britannic, we will be... Sorry, I'm just taking it all in. Uh, we'll be doing one of these with the actual sinking, and then we're going to try to survive it if lifeboats decide to launch. And one with a free cam that will be on Padfoot TV Live. But, to give you a little history, the Lusitania is owned by the Canard Line. Um, it, was, it was built to compete with the uh, transatlantic passenger trade, which was starting to boom at this time. The construction began in 1904, and after completion of the whole of the main superstructure, the ship was launched in 1906. It can uh, figure to finish its fittings. I know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> The liner was completed the following year, uh, in which this time it was the largest ship in the world at 787 feet, that's 240 meters for my Euro friends, and the length weighing over 31,550 tons. It was surpassed the following year by its sister ship, the Mauritania. Although luxurious, the Lusitania was noted more for its speed. This is where it really started to be the battle, was the speed that these ships could get people across the ocean. On September 7th, 1907, the ship had made its maiden voyage sailing from Liverpool, England to New York City. The following month, it won the Blue Ribbon for fastest Atlantic crossing, averaging nearly 200, uh, 224 knots. The Mauritania would later claim the Blue Ribbon, uh, and the two ships regularly went back and forth. Oh my gosh, the torpedo is coming from the right-hand side soon. Well, I didn't see that. I was reading something to everybody. We are fucked. Okay, so we have been struck by a torpedo while going here, and that was actually going to be my next point. All right, well, thank you for letting me know that alert. We're already listing quite heavily. We're at full speed. Um, so, yeah, in May 1915, exactly here right now, the loose tanny was returning home from New York. We are exploding again. Why are we exploding again? Maybe I'll find out, actually, here. The sinking of the merchant ship... Uh, Sinking of merchant ships off the south coast of Ireland and reports of submarine activity there prompted the British um, to warn Lusitania to avoid the area and to recommend it, uh, adopting the evasive tactic of zigzagging. Uh, changing course every few minutes uh, at in irregular intervals, there is the horn to abandon ship uh, to confuse the U boats in the area. The ship's captain, William Turner, which I find just fantastic chose to ignore those recommendations, and on the afternoon of May 7th, the vessel was attacked. Man, those dropped fast, didn't they? After being attacked by a torpedo and exploded on the starboard side, the ship was heavily damaged, followed by an explosion. Probably one of the steam engine's pipes. Within 20 minutes, the ship had sank. 1,198 people were drowned. The loss of the liner and so many passengers, including 128 U.S. citizens, aroused a wave of indignation in the United States. And it was fully expected the declaration of war would follow, but the U.S. government clung to its policy of neutrality in World War I. So we are sinking, and we are sinking fast. That would explain the second explosion. Sorry for kind of felt like I was reading off a script, because I definitely was. I was hoping to enjoy this ship a little bit longer before it sank, but I wanted to read that to you guys because I wanted to be able to get some facts out to you. Uh, people have complained before that some of the things that I've said weren't accurate, you know, 
it's more or less me not speaking correctly. Like, I won't pronounce something correctly. So, you'll never please everybody, but you can at least try. It's a lie. Don't live your life like that. It's horrible. This ship is a beauty. It's small. It feels very small. Um, can we hurry up to the front? If we touch the water, we die. If we stay on the ship, we should be okay. Uh, but that is Lusitania. Uh, this is us trying to survive her right now. I can only imagine being in the middle of the ocean and the ship sank so suddenly. It was torpedoed and loss of life was very, very high. I can't see past here. Hopefully there's a stair because this is a long walk back. Stairs. No, we just end. Fantastic. Are we gonna be stuck here and drown? Okay, well, this is not going well. <laughs> this is definitely not going well. We'll have to probably pop back in one more time just to be able to actually see the ship. Seeing as the water is uh, right up to the railing at this point, we are quickly starting to list and weave back and forth. The end is nigh for the Lusitania. Another mast. A bunch of electric motors. Uh, it's, it's really happy to see something that's not part of the White Star Line uh, within here. I really like to be able to see um, Canard, which is owned by Carnival, I believe, now, by the way. Um, I one of my dreams has always been to sail upon the Queen Mary 2. There's that feel of ocean liner world. I don't actually know if we're going to be able to survive this one. Um, if we do an episode on it. Um, but just to be able to cross the Atlantic. I've done a uh, transatlantic before. So that's not new. But feeling on the regards of the grandeur of it would be. I was hoping to go down to the bow. But obviously, that is not going to be possible. Is the bow underwater yet? No, actually, the bow is not. We actually might be able to get down there. The fact isn't necessarily getting down there, it's getting back. Aha! Well, we can imagine. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I don't, I'm not happy about doing it, but I'm gonna do it. Oh man, look at that list. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. Alright, let's get ourselves out of here because I don't want to die right away. I'd like to try to survive this. I did like the feature, by the way. Good good on the developers. I like that you were uh, using the horn to signal an advantage ship. Can I not go up these stairs? Thank you. Oh, this wheelhouse is set. How far do you list? There would be a massive fire right now from every photo you know, recreation, obviously, not an actual photo of the ship, but... Wow. You can climb that ladder. You know me and ladders, actually. Well done. I wonder if they could make a Costa one. That would be kind of cool. So, developers, if you happen to be watching this, a disaster a couple years ago. Okay, well, I can't get up over that. That's a bummer. A lot of machinery. That's going to start sinking very soon. Oh, we're down here now. We're in a boat. Okay, I don't want to be here. I really don't want to be here. I want to be up here where it feels a little bit safer. It doesn't capsize, but I know it does lean pretty drastically.
Okay, water is taking a sweet old time, but we're listing so much, I'm afraid that we're just gonna end up being thrown into the water. Also, what I find very interesting is you can see these old air intakes. Um, they started getting better with electric ones to force air down here. This was just all done by piping and the ship moving. So I find it really, really interesting to still see these and how much deck space it really used to take up. It's amazing. Okay, well, we are getting very close to that water. A little uncomfortably close. Those guys are fine. I think... Thought. So this might have been the first one that um, the game studios put together because I swear from what I've read, you were able to see Ireland. That was uncomfortable. My robe just fell down part of my body, but it felt like something crawling on me. Oh, God. Okay. A little lackluster right now. I just feel like... It's taking a little bit longer than what I had anticipated. It's at 18 minutes. Now, I don't have my timer up because I have my notes up, so I can read to you guys. And then watch, as soon as I get down here, the water's going to come up and kill me. Let's go a little bit further back. feel a little bit safer here now. You shouldn't, considering what the view is right now. Alright, still very heavily listing, but we're not making a lot of progress, I don't feel. I feel like the water's getting a little bit closer. Maybe we're tilting a little bit more. But I figured she would actually go down by the head a little bit faster. So right now I just feel like we're going to flip over, which is not what the report's happen. Not like this, at least. It went down by the head. It was tilted, but not, not as much as it is right now. <laughs> Let's take a walk to the back while we pet the puppy. Hi, Izzy. It's like a fun little fluff. We get to meet the world this week. Spider my way, Spider Man my way through here. Actually, thank you. Jeez, um, oh, those light boats are very far. Did we go all the way to the sky. Come on, just let me go over. Don't, don't, don't. This is bad. This is bad. Very bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I said it was bad. I was not kidding, because I think we're trapped down here. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. It also runs like a peanut, but that's okay. It was only $2.99. Highly suggested if you are a ship fan. This is still a lot of fun. A little aggravating because it can't tilt your body. And now I'm stuck back here because I can't climb that anymore. Damn it, I really wanted to be able to see. Let's see if over here is any better. Go out the opening, out the opening, out the opening. Come on. You got it. I believe in you. There you go. Proud of you. Okay, let's climb up here. Okay, is this not solid? Try this side, shall we? Okay, I feel much better up here. Let's see how we're dying. 
Well, guess what? I get to do that again, and you guys just get to see the end. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Okay, well. Hey, look, we're back on the ship. That's awesome. Um, can we see the torpedo again? And you guys can see that, and then we'll catch back up. I'd like to be a little bit more aware of when that torpedo's gonna hit. Actually, I think it might want to be down, downstairs. Oh, you yeah. know, Now we're just gonna watch for torpedo coming. Fantastic. Then we'll get ourselves into the back again and not fall off this time, shall we? Wow, that's actually a lot more detail than I thought it was gonna be. First explosion as the torpedo just enters the starboard side of the Lusitania and immediately starts taking on water. We're waiting for that second explosion before we move. Sitting here right now, we were just enjoying this deck and we're just trying to figure out what the hell did we just hit. And I seem to be the sole survivor who saw something in the water. There's our next explosion. At this point, we are starting to panic, worried about what can be done Wondering if something on board, we notice that we are starting to list. After seeing that in the water, and the times that are here, we fear that it is war. There's the ship's horn. It calls out through the night, telling us to abandon ship. We're going to go get ourselves settled. back as we attempt to survive the Lusitania once again. Alright, we are back here on the Lusitania. Thank you guys for being patient. Of course, you didn't have to do anything. I was doing all the work. But we are going down! Finally. Um, <laughs> we've got ourselves back up here and I can see where everything went completely wrong last time. And of course, it's going to be for like the last two seconds of the actual show. Um, What's interesting is I just noticed from here, there should be a second deck on here. This, this is like a two-story spot. Very interested. That it is not there. <clears throat> She's going down with a great amount of speed right now. I'm trying to, like, I want to watch it, but I also want to stay safe. We all know what it is like to fall through the world. I really prefer not to do that again. Those guys survived. Oh, we're going faster. Look at that. Look at that on the horizon. Look at the horizon versus this. Jeez. More and more and more and more and more and more and more. We didn't survive the Britannic. We are definitely not going to survive the Lusitania. Come on, I just want us to get down. I just want down. I want to live. Oh, God. Come on. Jack grabbed my way all the way through here. Oh, my goodness. Two sinkings in one day. Survived none. That a bitch. Just trying to think, what would be going through your head? Well, at this point, I'd probably jump down and swim away. Or over here, just walk into the water and try to swim towards the lifeboats. But they're probably full. Oh, dear. That's exactly what I'd probably do. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> Look at how quickly that picked up. The last remaining lifeboat that's still on board is gone. The mast is almost all the way through. And the stern is about to be sucked under. You can see that already. We're about to be sucked under. Take a deep breath. We took it too early. Gonna die. <laughs> Gonna die even more. <sighs> and we're dead. And now 
now with the mass and everything, we are fully under the water. You fell off this tin, you did not survive the impact. Actually, I did, because I didn't fall off. I drowned. There's a difference. Give me credit where credit is due. <laughs> also, though, all seriousness aside, uh, obviously, a super tragedy, and uh, it's one of those things where I, you know, I'd love to be able to say I wish it didn't happen, but because it happened, other things were saved. And I'm gonna plot myself here to see if the lifeboat thing works, but that'll be for a different video. I'm really excited to bring that to you guys too. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we have a brand new channel called Pat for the TD Live. And we're on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think, what you might want to see in future episodes. Always open to suggestions and ideas from you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to show support, the subscribe is always appreciated. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.